because we have the Aurora Borealis, the northern lights visible again in parts of South Texas. Again, I was on our roof. I couldn't see anything even through my phone. It's best viewed through the phone because of the sensitive technology in our camera phones. I see it better than the naked eye, but on KSAT Connect, we have many beautiful, beautiful shots. Uh, look at this one right here in particular from Lake Hills. See that nice red glow off in the distance. Uh, even Shelby picked one up here. She's near Alamo Heights and just had a little faint glare. Hondo, a nice shot. And again, you're you could faintly see it in some parts of our area, especially the hill country with the naked eye, but it's best viewed through your camera phone and for viewing tips basically tonight, get away from lights get as far away from any lights as you can, even street lights, headlights, whatever it may be. The farther away from lights you can get, the better off you'll be. It also let your eyes adjust to the darkness. If you get away from lights, let your give your eyes 10 to 15 minutes to adjust and also look north through the camera phone for best viewing. If you can even see it, not everybody's going to see it because the visibility also changes continuously, kind of like rainfall. You know, sometimes it's light rain, then heavy rain and then light rain again. Kind of the same thing with the geomagnetic storm. So yesterday, a little more than 24 hours ago, we had a big coronal mass ejection, actually multiple coronal mass ejections, basically a big uh, sun burp, if you will. And notice how it went out in every direction from the sun. So that definitely threw it toward Earth. And so far, it's a level four out of five geomagnetic storm. And we can see them as far south as South Texas, especially through the camera phone technology. Now, here's what happened just over the past couple of hours. We had this huge jump in what we call the planetary K index or the KP index, basically sensors detecting a huge disruption in the Earth's magnetic field. And that's about 8.67 right now. Once it gets up to nine, that would be about a G5.